Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. This is a really special day for me and I hope you'll enjoy the ride as much as I will do. Today I've got invited by Albert Kastleder, this guy, to, uh, to check out an original Klon Centaur. Because uh, the way he tweaked and designed the pillion was actually shooting it out against uh, a good friend of his um, original Klon Centaur and uh, this is how they went back and forth and this is how they settled on the circuit so uh, he was like hey you're around come over and uh, and uh, and check out the pedals for yourself and um, and see how that sounds this is gonna be a special one and not only because of the the pedals the main stars of the video but also because of the place I'm here in uh, in this awesome studio uh, in near near Budapest and uh, this is uh, Lotzi Gazdag's place uh, he has this crazy collection of amazing gear and is in the music business does all kinds of cool stuff with cool people um, and he was friendly enough to invite us and uh, and provide this space so we're recording the the guitars through his setup now the amps. This is gonna be a 64, original 64 Deluxe Reverb and an original Soldano SL100, uh, like the last generation of the original run. Um, we're gonna test uh, the two pedals with these two amps. Uh, I have my Les Paul here, I have my Tele here, and then it goes over to the mics. Now, it's a Royer. Uh, I'll put everything on screen, what kind of models, like real crazy good stuff we're not talking about you know let's plug these into a camper or let's uh, use some sort of a load box this is proper high quality great studio quality and i think that's what is a little bit missing when someone ab's a clone with anything else or any other gear as a matter of fact so we're recording with pro tools crazy studio setup i'll show you some b-rolls uh, and obviously like the craziest uh, my favorite neumann mic the u67 the tube mic uh, this is a, a tube royer plus the uh, the sm57 it's 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 pretty sweet all right um i've never played a clone so i want to start with that just turn on the deluxe plug in the clone and see how that feels
And now let's uh, let's see how the Pillion compares to this Clan Centaur. Why I'm saying this Clan Centaur is because the clans, like the original ones, are also all different. It's not like there is a oh, clan sound. They have you know little component differences, and that all adds up. So if you take ten original centaurs, you will get ten slightly different sounds, or at least you will be able to probably find one that is for some reason your preference like that's the one you like most and that's that's what everyone who played these pedals and multiple original clones uh, will agree on that they are not identical so this is uh, Lotzi's um, original centaur and uh, this was the unit that uh, Albert also used for the paleon tweaking <laughs> to, to get as close as possible to the original uh, circuit and the sound of, uh, of that original pedal. We have an AB box here uh, which is passive and uh, that is very important obviously so that the pedals are not in the signal chain at the same time. So you have this or that and the buffer in the original clone doesn't influence the sound of the Paleon which is true bypass so you know what I mean we wanted to create fair a fair game here and uh, this is I think also a very important part of the uh, of the whole story and uh, an important piece of the puzzle so let's go Thank you. 
want you to to let me know in the comments below if you've heard anything any difference um, if they were identical whatever it was you've heard let me know because even though we are recording here with like the highest grade you know all vintage amazing uh, recording stuff like a proper high-end studio still being in a room is a little bit in my experience a little different compared to recorded guitar tone so um yeah just want to know what you've heard uh my impressions are let's start with the clone because it's a it's a first time for me uh um, the first impression is that it's so crazy how close it is to every single nicer clone, clone, clone. Yet, it's so much sweeter than most. Like, this is not really necessarily something you can spot. Like, you can't really hear, but uh, I think you can a little bit. But it's, it's something that you feel when you're playing this. I mean, as told, every centaur I've heard is a little different. This one is a really fine example uh, because, uh, because it does give that kind of chewy, silky, all those fancy words, that kind of vibe. And that just makes just digging in the strings super enjoyable. Sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to add something here at this point, something that I forgot to talk about or explain. I'm editing the video right now and I realized that I will get a lot of comments saying certain things, you know, hey, Josh from JHS already proved his point. You know, every pedal can sound like a clone, etc. Um, as mentioned earlier, it all depends on how you record your, your playing, what you're playing, what kind of guitar amp your playing style, you know, if you just play a couple of chords, of course, they all can sound 99% the same, like all the clones and all the, you know, original center, etc. But there are actually two things that I found very different in all of these clones, um, and inclu including actually the clone KTR, uh, which is not the same thing as the centaur. A lot of these will, first of all, um, in my book, ruin the openness, that glassiness, which is, you know, I'm, I'm saying ruining, that's not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of people want to have this sort of darker, sweeter tone, which is totally fine. I hate it when a drive pedal gets rid of my treble without me wanting it. Like if I want less treble, I turn down the tone knob on the guitar or on the amp or wherever. I just want to have control over the openness and the presence, treble, whatever you want to name it, myself. And I don't want a drive pedal to do that for me without me being able to counter act, right? There's a treble knob on the clon stop circuit, but if the treble knob just gives an annoying, unpleasant frequency, then I don't want to turn it up. So it cannot really compensate unless the circuit, the whole pedal, uh, just keeps enough of that openness already. And in that case, you don't have to go anywhere with the treble. You can leave it at 12 o'clock or maybe, you know, 11 o'clock or one o'clock, that's it. You don't have to go in the extremes because the whole thing just works perfectly. And that is a huge difference. That's the first huge difference that I realized, uh, whether it's an Archer, a Klon, KTR, um, any of the budget uh, Klon style pedals or any other brand that I've tried, which is not all of them, obviously, there are some great ones I've never tried, but I've tried a lot and um, they all have a very different treble and openness and response in, in that frequency range. Uh, so that's that's the first thing that the clone, the, the Centaur, it just did so differently compared to most of the, th the stuff that I tried. And the second thing is that harshness that some of these clones have. Like the drive, as soon as you pass like uh, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock and just gun the drive or, or the gain knob, some of them will become just really, really obviously hard clipping. The clone is a hard clipper, I know, but the Centaur just maintained its sweetness. I hope you understand what I mean. I've said this in the, in the video, in the room, right after I played, but that is something that is not natural. That is not normal because most of these clones, if you crank the gain, will just hard, sound really, really like, edgy, um, un not unpleasant, but like almost like a like a rat, which is again um, a hard clipper, the you know, Proco rat, that kind of drive, which is a really cool tone, but that's not necessarily what I want to hear from a clone. And that's definitely not what I hear from famous center players. They always have this 
sweeter kind of open drivey tone and um, and that was very obvious and awesome about the centaur and as a matter of fact the pillion pretty much nailed that um, and some other pedals do as well but like clones but it's not that obvious so if you take i don't know any of the budget versions or even the archer you will get a very different kind of clipping it's just it, the voicing is very similar uh, if you play two chords it sounds almost identical but as soon as you start playing and enjoying the dynamics of the guitar it's just gonna be such a massive difference especially in feel but you can actually hear that too so yeah this is what i wanted to add and now about the comparison between the the pillion and this uh, centaur it's it's crazy how pretty much identical they are up until like three o'clock um, I would say like even though I know that the game pod is like a dual knob and it's a blend between a clean boost and a drive circuit and if you go down with the gain that you're not really using any of the drive circuit and that special diode and whatever a clon circuit is n I don't think it's only about that pair of diodes I think it's the whole damn thing and if the clean side of the circuit um, is made out of certain components and has certain values and whatever it will also sound different so I think it's it's the amount of transparency in the clean uh, and the dynamics uh, of the clean side and obviously the the type of mid-range the the way it reacts to your dynamics uh, on the drive side that's that's the magic that I enjoyed about this one and and um, and same for this honestly I didn't hear any difference and I'm really stupidly picky with these things literally no difference until like one or two o'clock on the gain setting on both and then from three o'clock I kind of heard a taste difference like the the pillion had a bit more of a um, a, a sweeter mid-range or like a woodier sound I maybe that makes any sense to you I don't know it's a weird um, <laughs> word to use but yeah it, that's that's the first word that comes in mind and the uh, the center had a bit more of a, a silkiness or slinkier tone not necessarily less low end but just I wouldn't say uh, scooped but a little less woody sounding but we're talking about you know that one percent or two percent uh, and as told until like two o'clock identical and uh, the first thing that the guys here uh, Lazio and also uh, Alberto like most clon users those who really really appreciate the original will not crank the gain that much anyhow they will they will use it until like 12 o'clock probably uh, or maybe a little over 12 o'clock where it gives you that nice punch that that thing that nothing else can really do this is the magic of the circuit and um and honestly i stole it until like two o'clock or three o'clock um these are identical so good job Albert. <laughs> that's that's crazy and i wanted to say a huge huge thank you again to Lotzi who allowed us to to make this uh, day very enjoyable and now I have to go because I'm playing a metal gig with my old metal band in uh, like a few hours so uh, you guys take it easy thank you so much for watching this video let me know in the comments below as told what you've heard what you think about this whole thing and yeah of course I know it, same same it doesn't really matter yeah it doesn't matter but you know what it kind of does Bye-bye.